Action! Howdy campers, how's it going out there? Today we're going to have a quick look at our hybrid cool 45HC from TriStar. And this is probably one of the best pieces of kit in our camping gear. I'm sure you've seen this one before. We've had this for quite a while now, a couple of years. So we're going to see how it's held up after all, these, all this time. What we like about it and what is not so cool. First of all, um, it's a bit banged up as you can see. It's quite a bit bigger than the other one. We had a look at the Moby Cool MQ40A. Uh, it's a little bit taller, much deeper because it has the compressor section here. Um, it's a bit banged up. This is stainless steel, which is quite cool. This is um, plastic. Here we go, have a look inside. This little thing is held up. These things are always condensed, so they're very rusty, but that's okay. Uh, it's quite big, it's 45 liters, as it says on the box. The most important part of this whole fridge is the fact you can stack three cans of beer high. So if we do our maths, that's like four wide, six down, that's about 80 beers easily. That'll last a weekend, I'm sure. Um, it's pretty um, big. This thing doesn't belong in here. This is from the other one, which I just put in here to keep our things a little bit more um, organized. The hinges are still cool. They look a little bit flimsy, but they've held up after all these years. Uh, the on-off switch and the thermostat is a little bit rickety, but it all works. The little uh, volume control here works pretty well. That's pretty cool. We have a possibility to plug it into the cigarette lighter of your car, which we haven't used. I don't think that uses the compressor side of it, just a fan, but so far we've used 220. And what we're going to try and do is see how much power this fridge draws. So if we pull out our trusty Power Oak Blue Etty, uh, we've switched it on already, we'll try and see if we can get this thing to go. Yeah, there's an error. So we can try this again. AC on, here we go. Yeah, it just peaks too high because this thing will draw about 70 watts, but when it starts up, when the fridge starts, motor starts up, it takes just a bit over 300 watts and this is only 300 watts. Give it one more go. Okay, here we go. There it is. You can see the power draw, fridge is running, only 42 watts, that's pretty good for a compressor fridge in my opinion. Don't know if you can hear that. Okay, so there's your power draw, which is not much at all. So if you do have a, a solar panel in your car and a power generator, you're not going to be drawing too much um, energy out of that. So that's all pretty good. So guys, there it is, man. One of the best pieces of kit in our whole van, which we've been using for years and years. It's been beat up. It's been left out in the rain, switched on. It's been in the bright sunlight on the beach. It will still freeze your beers. This will go down to minus 15 degrees Celsius, which is pretty impressive. The only negative part, it's not all good. Uh, it's pretty heavy. This thing weighs about 10 kilograms or more, maybe 12, 14. I'll put the number down here empty and then you've got to fill it up and you have to try and put it in your car as well so there's a one minus point and it's a bit bulky it's a bit deep uh, but you can't have it all right and actually it works far better than we thought it's been in the back of the trailer bouncing around on really bad roads it's held up it works nothing's failed plug it in and you're a for away cold beers for your weekend away so thanks for watching guys catch you on the next one if you're interested in the moby cool mq40a Click this link up here and we can compare them a little bit. I'll show you what I liked or didn't like about that one as well. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you next time. Keep rolling.